Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Spider-Man Remastered. And uh, so, at the end of the last part, basically Pete went over to MJ's place to cook some dinner. <laughs> um, and she basically told him about uh, uh, where she was <laughs> when he called her. And this is where we basically, we have another playable MJ section where we find out what uh, happened with her. Um, so she basically was able to find out, um, I think this isn't to do with the demon stuff. This is just something, um, she was researching her, uh, researching for herself, um, doing a little bit of investigation and, uh, she happened to, uh, get into this building and fi uh, found out some shit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you walk through broken glass, or if you w run into the like the paper, the um, the wood there, I think it was, then that will create noise, and that will bring alert a guard to you. So avoid that shit. Um, and she also has a, the like these little boxes and stuff like these noise maker, various noise makers and things like that. <clears throat> Sorry, that she can use in order to uh, basically make noise and distract the the guy distract the guys on patrol while she kind of while we're able to you know sneak past basically to be honest this isn't in all honesty these sequences aren't super hard i know a lot of people don't like them which you know it's kind of fair enough because um it's kind of a, a similar, I feel a similar way to the stealth sections in Wind Waker because it's just like, uh, this isn't the gameplay that you came for. <laughs> like, you came for, you know, swinging a Spider Man through uh, New York City or beating up a load of, a load of bad guys and stuff like that. You don't really, you didn't really come to do a stealth section as Mary Jane. Um, but, um, I don't, personally, I don't really have a problem with these because they're kind of, because uh, they're kind of slow, in all honesty. Um, you know, the, <laughs> wow, uh, they're kind of, sl you know, they're kind of short, these sections, so even though they're kind of slow, and not really what you're here to, really what you want to play, really. Um, there's, they're kind of, yeah, one, you know, they're done fairly, they're over with fairly quickly, so it's not too bad. Anyway, time to be introduced to another Spider-Man villain, Tombstone. Uh, I don't really know much about Tombstone, if I'm being honest. Um, basically, he, I think it's. Uh, basically, he had an accident with a certain chemical, um, and basically bleached his skin white, and he basically is now impervious to pain and kind of impervious to damage. He's pretty much, like, invincible. And this super strong kind of, um, gangster, I guess, is what the, what he really is, I guess. Um, I will say it's a cool introduction to him. <laughs> kind of just brutally murdering someone by just stomping on their face. That's uh, pretty, pretty wild. Uh, so yeah, we've got to find out what Tombstone's doing. So let's. Oh. Don't see me. Don't see me. Thank you. So we've got some things to look at. What are we looking at first? Oh, camera. An APC. Oh. This is what they're building. This is an APC. What's he doing with an APC? Here we go. GPS trackers. Yep, that's what we're asking. And GPS trackers. All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear from my office. Yeah, time to run away. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out. Fortunately, she doesn't get spotted. I don't know how. She's not super stealthy in that section, MJ. Take a few 
I kind of like that. <laughs> He's like, I can tell you not to do that again, but I can tell that you're just going to ignore me anyway, so at least take something for your personal protection. It's like, <sighs> to be honest, it's kind of dumb of her. <laughs> it's one of the things which I really don't like about MJ in this game. She does these things and she's kind of dumb with it. <clears throat> Sorry, like you think she'd take something with her to protect herself, but seemingly not. Which is going into this really dangerous situations. You know, going into this seemingly dangerous situations without any backup or any weapons, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, kind of stupid. But anyway, yeah, the... That, uh, the... Uh, the thing with the tombstone stuff is not setting up the devil's breath. It's kind of setting up the side quest that you're going to be doing. We're going to be doing pretty soon. Um, it's nothing to do with the main plot. It's just like, is it? Here's another villain, and he's going to be a side quest in a little bit. Spider girl, spider woman. If only. Yeah, God. Peter, you're so fucking useless, dude. <laughs> hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break in. Charles. <laughs> I always like those moments, to be fair, where he's just like using his web to kind of do something really <laughs> mundane. It's kind of cool. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? I love this moment so much. It's like, uh, Sorry I'm on my way now. Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh, <laughs> I kind of like that. It's kind of like, no, I'm picking them up now. Just a couch is fine. See you later. Yeah. All right, uh, later. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like this moment. It's a very cute moment. A bit of a comedic moment. Okay. So we just heard that basically there's a burglary. Charles Standish. God damn it. Eat my curry. Okay. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Partners. Uh sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Time to go. Oh, fuck. Can't get rid of her. Uh, okay, down we go. Uh, so, yeah. So, I think where we're going now is basically... Um, oh, we got some shit to do first. Uh, basically, there's been a, a break-in at that place where the uh, guy who made... He was a major part of making um, Devil's Breath. Is so we're gonna have to go up there and kind of help him out. But first, got to beat up more demon henchmen. So many of them. I I have to go towards him. I have to fight him. Right now, shut up. All right, moving on. Yeah, here we go. Time to head in. So yeah, time to take on these dudes. Time to take more on more of these assholes. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I just love web swinging. Blah. Okay then. So what's going on? Hi. You look unwell. <laughs> You're right, buddy. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay. So yep. More demons. Yeah, that was. Me being a dumbass. There we go. Time to kick more ass. Thank you. Hey, you have to do it with style. A little bit of style, anyway. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh, I've taken too long. Fuck. Where's the next guy? Oh! You were hiding, weren't you? Little bastard. Ow. There we go. You're done. 
Hi. Nope. Don't shoot at me. Yeah, those guys with the shields are probably the most annoying guys to deal with. Just because there's a, you, you know, you have to do a very specific, um, <clears throat> you know, there's a very specific strategy with them. Nope, let's do two in a row. So, you know, you have to do a very specific strategy with them, which kind of makes fighting a bit of a pain in the ass when they're um, kind of involved. So, anyway. Right, you're done. Oh shit, there's more of them in there. Well, fuck. Oh, it's a big boy. Ow! Run away! Ow, you, oh, you fucking bitch. I dodged you. Dodge. Right, let's... No, why? That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that, that is really fucking hard to dodge. I think, um... It's not enough to kind of just use the dodge button. I think you have to basically uh, use your web swing to kind of swing away from him so you're above the ground so you won't get hit. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Anyway. We need to hit the elevator. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of bust. Down to run. Yeah, this... <laughs> I do actually like these moments, they're kind of funny, when you're just running up, and oh, there's another one, hi, bye, <laughs> I don't know, I just find it amusing, that you know, you get just underneath and then boop, you fucking dumbass, <laughs> up, 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 all the way up to the top, and, and away we go. Alright, next section. Now we have to go up another bunch of elevators. Up here. Hi. So yeah, the first section is, was pretty easy. Second section is a bit more difficult. Yeah, now just... Shit. Let's kill you. By which I mean uh, leave you here. By the way, what's going to happen when the elevator comes back up? I'm overthinking it. Yeah, so at this point I'm just like, fuck it. Nice and easy. Head up, boop. Yeah, you can avoid them completely and not bother with them. That's kind of nice. Um, and now the third and final section, which is, ow. Yeah, you drop, they drop firebombs at this point, so. Just all about running and avoiding shit. Just run across, and now, oh god. Ow. <laughs> That fucking hurt. <laughs> and you want to get the number of that elevator. Yeah, run. So yeah, so you just want to run out of the way. Oh. Keep going. Yeah, go up to that middle section and boop. I'll get there in the end. There we go. Right. Fuck. Down we go. And here we are. We're in. Uh, we're at. Uh, what was his name? Cavendish. Uh, Brandish. There you go. We're at Brandish's apartment now. Uh, Brandish one. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, basically, first section. Bit of a just some stealth takedowns. Take him out. Uh, let's. Yeah, he's safe. Fuck you. Head back up. Yeah, so now we've got some more enemies to deal with. There's not too many from what I remember. In terms of uh, these you have to deal with. Um, I think there's like five or six that you have to take out. I can't really remember. Damn it. Damn it. Um... Is he on his own? Oh, he is. Hi. Yeah, 
Yeah. Have a little bit of a rest there, pal. Uh, okay, so now we just... Oh, there's another guy. Hi. Thank you. And away you go. Have a bit of a nap. Oh, that was fucking... That was close. I didn't realise how close he was to actually seeing me there. But, ha, fuck you and your... Your axe. Okay. Oh. Yeah, then once you've taken out um, the majority of them, um, I think you only... Once there's just, like, two left down here, uh, then you'll have a new group of enemies come up to have to deal with. But, yeah, nothing too difficult. Right, where are you? All right, we've got some more enemies. There we go. Hi. All right, get rid of you first. I won't damage you too much, buddy. There he is. And... Ha-ha! <laughs> Taste my foot. Uh... Right, moving and moving on. That's all right, fat boy. Up you go. Night. Yeah, I have to move slightly over and away we go. Uh, one. I think we've got. Yeah, we've just got these couple of guys over here now. This should be nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it, that didn't work as much as I would have liked, but... Hey! Well, I'll take it. And... Last one. Sleep it off. Fuck you. And boom. Taking care of the room relatively quickly. Okay, all clear. So now we've got to Stand open up slowly. and get to uh, Mr. Brandish. Let's get you out of here, buddy. But first... New enemy type. This time we're dealing with guys with energy swords. So, yeah. The guys with energy swords are... are pretty um, spry. They're hard to hit. And they can counter-attack you as well, which is kind of annoying. They have a wide range of moves as well. And you can't... Oh, shit. And you also can't... Um... um you w uh, wrap them up with your webbing, they just kind of, um, you know, they just kind of, uh, oh, shit. Um, sorry, my brain's not working. They just kind of, uh, like, break it apart with their sword, so yeah. These guys are actually really annoying to deal with. So yeah, it's just about being patient with them. So let's get to Brandish and get him out of here. What were they after? Just financial records. About Tell me. How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years. Once again, uh, it seems like a lot of people don't know what the fuck it is, and they just, you know, going along with the project because Norman Osborne puts money in their lap. Okay. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? So, yep. This that's what this part of the game is basically. It's about, you know, you're going from basically Well, they're after this guy now. Okay, they've got the information they need, so now they're going after this guy. So, yeah. Next person we have to deal with is Isaac or find is Isaac Delaney. Yeah, it's time to jump, buddy. So yeah, more quick time events. Again, this one is pretty uh, quick and straightforward, so I don't really mind it too much. Try to fall slower. And hit. <laughs> I like that. Try to fall slower. Jesus Christ. You're a doctor. You're a scientist. You're supposed to be able to deal with gravity. Um, you okay? So yeah, that should have snapped his arm off. I think so. Good. But, oh well. Good. But he's okay. <laughs> Again. Ah, oh, God. I love Peter's humor in this game. It's so good. 
get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Yeah, well, I mean, Osborne did hire them, so yeah, he's probably just... All he cares about is getting Standish out of the way and making sure he keeps quiet and doesn't die. Spider Cop. Spider Cop. <laughs> I love this uh, ring joke. Yuri? That's fair. <laughs> okay, mission done. So yeah, we're done with that now. He's safe. Okay, good. And the demon? He's been taken in by Sable. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before That's I That's kind of your job, MJ. From tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. Okay. So yeah, that's the side mission on lots. That's the um um thingamajiggy stuff. Sorry, the, uh, what's the name of it? The, uh, the tombstone and stuff, but we're not doing that yet. We've got another, um, uh, we've got another thingamajiggy to sort out. Another, um, um, what's the name of it? Uh, a demon, demon hideout. That's what we're dealing with next. <coughs> Come here, buddy. Right, I've been caught, which means, sh fuck it. Time for you to die. This is one element, I think, of the game which I actually really like. So much for the opening act. That, you know, stealth is purely optional. And that there are very few kind of stealth sections where if you don't do the stealth section, then you end up dying. Um, which is something I never really liked about Batman. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like... So we've got to perform 10 finishes and 10 swing kicks. Uh, the swing kicks are going to be pretty easy to do. See? Told you. And, um, hi. Fuck you. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, you don't... It doesn't cause a lot of damage. It takes three swing kicks on an enemy to completely knock them out. I actually prefer these, the ones which are pure... Like the missions, which or the um, when it asks you to do something which is like a pure combat thing, I find it easier than mixing stealth with a uh, with a combat kind of mission. Oh, fuck! I missed. Fuck you! I think we're nearly done with that one anyway. Jump. There we go. Right, we're done with that. So now it's just finishes. Uh, I don't think I do this, the finishes one, because it's kind of difficult to get it going. Really, this is a lot easier once you've maxed everything out, because um, you unlock an ability where you can have... where uh, if you can perform another um, finisher... When you perform a finisher, uh, you can perform another finisher straight after if you uh, have an enemy nearby you. I think you have to do it within three seconds. Um, so, yeah, it makes it a lot... <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier when you c if you just wait to do these missions. See, I wasn't close enough. So, yeah, you really need to wait until you've got, like, a group of enemies around you so that you can... So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I complete this one. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. As long as I finish it. I don't know why I really like the uh, the axe kick, the kind of the swing kick. Fuck you. Yeah, I can. Uh, not close enough to be able to do two in a row, which is really kind of the thing where you. Yeah, in order to 
complete it, you need to unlock that ability. Makes things a hell of a lot easier. That that do it. There we go. I th how many have we done now? I think we've got eight, so we got two more. So if I can get two enemies close to me, then I should be all right. Fuck you. Right. You want to use it? There you go, Tom. That's number seven. That's number eight. So yeah, just yeah. I think I'm gonna mess up, miss it by two, from what I remember. But yeah, we got these assholes as well. Yeah, the whip and the sword guys are the most annoying to fight. Oh my god, my health. Yeah, that was that was where I fucked up. Because now I'm just I'm recovering my health instead of building up the meter to do finishes. So yeah, that's kind of dumb. But I think so we got one more left. Yeah, I think there's one more dude left. Where is he, buddy? Oh hi! I'm punching the air. Dead. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Mission complete. Demon Warehouse completed. There aren't as many of these. I think there's only uh, six total. So, yeah. We should get through these relatively quickly. It's basically a more difficult version of the uh, Fisk Warehouses. But anyway. Oh my god. Oh, right, yeah, I remember this. I won't talk about it yet, but fuck me, this that is a, a side quest which sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, that side quest sucks. <laughs> I really don't like it, but we're still going to do it. <sighs> Alright, but that's not going to be till next part. Jump next time for the next part of um, Spider-Man Remastered. We've got some side quests with Tombstone to do. We've just got that one from Yuri as well, as well as completing, as well as continuing with the main story and finding out more about this Dr. Isaac. So, yeah, see you later.